This problem involves a combination of the any triangle feature of the SAT operating system and the general circles feature. So it states, in the figure above, our ACB is a sig semicircle of which AB is a diameter. If AC equals 6 and BC equals 8, what is the area of the shaded region? The shaded region is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's the uh, region that is not the circle that's inside here. There, there. Okay, so those are our choices, A through E. And what we want to do is subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the circle. So that's the approach. We know the approach. Now what we have to do is the calculations. All right, so first thing I want to do is pull up the Pythagorean theorem function under the triangles tab and start entering values. So we have 6 for side A. 8 for side B, and side C, our hypotenuse is unknown. We'll solve for that. We get an answer of 10. So we'll return to the main menu here. We now know that this value is 10. So we want to find the area of the triangle. So we'll go to the any triangles feature first option under the triangles tab and we'll save values start entering the values 6 for side A 8 for side B 10 for side C and we'll let area equal X and then solve for x. Choose degree mode and allow it to calculate an answer of 24. 24 is the area of the triangle inscribed in the semicircle. So we're still looking for that shaded region. Alright, so we know the radius of the semicircle because the diameter is just that left that other side there. And so what we'll need to do is go to the, tr the uh, circles formula, option two under circles, and we'll enter five for our radius and then x for our area, solve for x, and we get 78.54, so we'll make note of that and we'll return to the main screen, make use of our home calculator, and we'll realize that 78.54 is the area of the full circle, so we'll divide that by 2, which is 39.27, and then we'll subtract the area of our triangle, which is 39.27 minus 24, the area of the triangle, and we get 15.27. And 15.27 most closely matches option D, 12 and a half times pi minus 24. And for verification, 12 and a half times pi minus 24 is in fact 15.27. And we know that based on that if you look at all the answer choices, all of these end up with a much higher positive value. And so it's pretty clear that option D is most likely the closest to what we received as an answer, which was 15.27. So we'd circle D, bubble that in, and move on to the next problem.